Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today we're going to do another playgroup deck entry. Uh, this is my buddy Danny's, his Maronar deck. So uh, it is, uh, I don't remember how, uh, to what mine is, but five mana, two, three, all rats have fear. You sack a rat to make rats. X rats, where X is the number of rats you control. Rats having fear. That is the big takeaway here. Uh, that is what actually killed me. I played against this deck recently, and um, it did all the cool things that it wanted to do, and I could not block. I did have an uh, inordinate amount of tokens that I could have blocked with, uh, but I fear rats, so evidently everyone does. So, uh, first and foremost, we're going to get right to it. We This is a uh, Relentless Rat deck. Uh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. There are 33 Relentless Rats. And I think he chose that number specifically on purpose because that is exactly one-third of the deck. Uh, we start with 99 cards, of course, and one-third. So one out of every three cards is going to be a Relentless Rat, which that ratio is perfect for things like he's had this beautiful full Thrumming Stone for years, long before he ever built the deck. This is actually a fairly... I know he started it. He started the deck, and then it kind of got lost in the shuffle somewhere, and then he finished it up. And, and uh, yeah, the Thrumming Stone went off, uh, it did the thing, it got every single rat out of the deck, and no one had a board wipe. But, uh, it does work, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, I, I think 33 is the correct number for the rats, but it didn't stop there, he had a lot of really cool things. Um, rat catcher, in the off chance that you don't have a rat, uh, you know, you just get to go search for one. Pack rat, oh, the beautiful part here is... Powered Tough to Siege, equal number of rats you control, and then you can make copies of the pack rat. So uh, he does have some things to help out the tribe. Uh, the Vanquisher's Banner. Uh, Door of Destinies is perfect because even with Ripple, you're still casting them. Um, coat of Arms. Because, you know, let's do all the things. Some of my personal favorites, though. Uh, Doom Cannon, because you really don't care. I mean, it's a rat. Uh, you know, you blow the cannon with a rat and shoot a rat at somebody. The flavor of that is just outstanding. Um, Herald's Horn, we can get those rats down to two mana. So that's nice. Uh, Metallic Mimic, of course, being a champion, and as is the Adaptive Automaton. Now... Uh, Let's look at some just individuals here. Uh, there's a little bit. Uh, he's got a Worn Power Stone. Uh, that is it for traditional ramp. But Ether Vile is uh, one heck of a ramp card, you know, because you can stop it at three and just, you know, tap it to drop, you know. Bolus of Citadel, which y'all know I'm not responsible enough to play with because I will spend my life like it ain't nothing. I mean, the only one that matters is the last one, right? Uh, <laughs> but I love its inclusion here because that last line there, sack 10 non-land permanents, each opponent loses 10 life. There are times when creature-based strategies can't get through uh, a, a pillow fort or, you know, something like that to where, you know, just creatures can't attack. So that allows you to get, you know, you can like with the Doom Cannon, force damage through without combat. Uh, Oversold Cemetery. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have four or more creature cards in your graveyard, you can get a rat back, because that's what it's going to be, right? Or you can just get all of them back with Patriarch's Bidding. Um, I like his options in here for Patriarch Bidding, because... Now, granted, the game I played, it, it didn't get played because everybody was playing tribal, and yeah. Uh, but the idea here, 
the synergy between Patriarch's Bidding and Ashnod's Altar. Ashnod's Altar is, of course, great rap as well, especially if you've got your rats down to where they're two and, you know, it's kind of a, a break-even thing. But you can throw all your rat. you can sack all your rats for Mana to the Altar if you've got Bidding in hand just to get them back with Bidding, right? So, um... Sensei's Divining Top, of course, one of the best card filtering systems in the game. Uh, Diabolic Intent is his tutor. He's He doesn't have like a whole lot of tutors, but he's got the Diabolic I Intent here. I uh, don't think there'll be a problem sacrificing a creature. Now, this one is beautiful. This one. Echoing Return. Return target creature and all other cards with the same name as that from your graveyard to your hand. It's kind of neat. Uh, mortuary to whenever any creature is put into your graveyard from play put it on top of your library yeah that also works kind of well with the you know the, the thrumming stone action the Ashnod's altar uh, to, to Vincer's journal because you know several of these cards are putting a lot of cards back in your hand so you want to have a no max hand size and you know you can gain some life for your trouble uh, the Eldest Reborn uh, is just a good all-around magic card, you know. Um, I mean, Leyline of the Void. I have questions about this one. Um, because so much of our... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's Opponent's Graveyard. It does not apply to you. Okay, okay, okay. That's... That's that's actually crazy smart. Um, so many decks in our format are... You, you just use the graveyard as, as a secondary hand. Uh, and I love the fact that this only works on your opponents. So you can still do your Patriarch's bidding shenanigans. And nobody else can. Beautiful. Before we get into the removal, let's look at our one non-basic um, Swarm Yard. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. To regenerate a rat. While we're on lands, I want to show you all this, because you all know every one of Danny's decks is has foil basic lands, right? Well, not this one. This one, he used Foreign Black Border 4th Edition. Like all of them. Pretty neat, huh? Um, and then we go to our removal, which is, I mean, it's mono black, so there's a little bit of it. We have Malicious Affliction. I like it. If a creature died this turn, you can copy it to destroy two non-black creatures. I have Murder. Killing Wave. Killing Wave is a nice exper uh, 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 experiment for the table. How much are they willing to pay? And it's always going to vary depending on um, what state in the game you're at, what are the life totals, what are board states. I love, you know, trying to pick that right number, especially because sometimes you don't care about killing the creature. Sometimes you just want to get them to pay the life, right? Uh, sudden Edict, uh, a literal strictly better Diabolic Edict. Ruinous Path, Terror, Larry Nevin's Disc, Ultimate Price, Assassinate, Doomblade, Tragic Slip, Poison the Cup. But the two I really want to talk about are Crippling Fear, because this is kind of this is kind of neat. Yeah, um, non-rat creatures get minus three, minus three, people's. Because that's how it's always going to be in this particular deck. And then Ether Snap. Oh man, what a what a beautiful card. Um, plus one, plus one counters are, are the biggest counter that's out there. Uh, but so are like charge counters and uh, there's a few cards that use divinity counters. But you get what I'm saying. Um, it doesn't hit players because it's counters from all permanents and it also removes all tokens this is 
this is a board wipe like no other. I, I, I mean, the Hydra deck really doesn't want to see this one. <laughs> but that is it for Danny's Rat Tribal. Um, I, I, as I said, I, I've uh, I've had a heck of a time playing against it, and uh, it's fun. It's uh, man, it's win big. But that's what I've got for today. I appreciate y'all watching, and we will catch y'all next time.